definitely. So this is going to be a best of three format. No, 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 no. This is loser's bracket. This is best of one. The winner of this will play in the grand finals, and then they will play in a best of three. But for the fighting chance for a guaranteed slot at $5 and a grand prize slot of $30, it is going to be in the bottom left-hand corner, our purple Zerg player, TG MLG. And in the top right, we haven't seen him play yet. Let's see what he does. He's our red Zerg player. He is Yodigi. Awesome. Looks like uh, Yodigi's going to go for that base first opening as well as TGMLG, but his is going to be ever so slightly later as well as his next two drones. It's going to go straight into 17 Extractor, and then into Pool, versus Yodigi's going for that 18-17, as he does right there. Keep in mind, though, TGMLG also did get that Drone Scout, so he has just a little bit more information on what is going on. Oh, for sure. A little more security knows what's happening when. But other than that, things are going to be just about even. With Yo Diggy, just a slight advantage on build order speed so far. Mm -hmm. Oh, small thing. Um, but I um, I'll show you how to transition between slides without having to tab out and click on your OBS and give away your OBS and smooth it out. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll teach you some streamer hacks, life hacks that. Some life streamer hacks. Yeah, dude. Some of the, some of us, some of us veterans know, but uh, it's actually what uh I learned from Tim the Tapman. He mentioned it when he was on the stream. Ooh, yeah, you'll have to sit down with me and teach me. You also need to coach me in Overwatch. I tried All to get right. you to play with me today, but it didn't work. I know. I was on that Minecraft grind, dude. I was playing modded Minecraft all day on my server. A server which is available for all subs on my channel, if you're interested in playing. Am I a sub to your channel? I think I am. I still have your yeah. emote, so to be fair. Yeah, there you go. Roach one coming out from a red player, and a banding nest coming out from our purple player. So, I, uh, the fact that Yo Diggy is Roach Horn's a little further ahead, and uh, uh, bandings aren't too too. Quite, aren't quite effective against roaches that uh, I'd say Yodigi's is doing a little better right now. A little higher on drones right now. Really uh, macking up harder. Injects are on point. Yeah, definitely. TGMLG getting those injects going. Roach Warren, a Baneling Nest coming out here. Um, Yodigi, I think he has a smoother build order, but his vision has been kind of off here, and I don't think he realizes how many lings are at this front door right now. Oh no. It's kind of catching him off guard. These, this ling, early ling offensive is... Oh no, speed's finished. No, no, no. Fight the drones. There you go. That's the damage that you want to do early on in this game already. Multiple drones going down. I don't even... It's not showing me the count. That's a lot of drones, though. I'm, oh, de I'm sure of it that these lings have got their value worth. Yeah, definitely. Somewhere around like 13, 14. We, uh, well, there's 12 units lost total for Yodigi. Four of those were Lings. So we're looking at about eight, give or take. Yeah. Now, uh, Purple's ahead on drones here. He's got the Baneling tech. We need, to, we need to see some Roaches come out here from our red player. Ro red Roaches will really just kind of secure this, this foundation that he's built up so far. Already, Lings are pushing out with that Roach. No damage on yet, but third base goes down for purple. Yeah, and uh, Yo Diggy definitely has more links right now. It's uh, 24 to 17. Roach count is also higher for Yo Diggy. He could definitely take an engagement right here. That's very fa favorable for him. Um, he also has the third base finished up, but not the economic advantage. It's actually very close. Right after those a couple drones pop, 26, 25. Um, now we're at 28, 26. So I think if Yo Diggy were to just literally pump units from here, it'd be just GG. 
because TGMLG can't outproduce him. The third base is forced to cancel. The links are now clashing in the middle of the oh, map. No. Yo, Dicky has more links getting almost a full surround onto those roaches, but these spines here are going to be able to defend for now. Now, at the moment, more roaches reinforcing from our red Zerg player. So many roaches being pumped out. Yeah, definitely. We're already looking at 10 roaches to 10 roaches, 11 links to about 12 or so roaches, including Ravengers right there. Um, army size is very similar. Yo, Diggy with an ever so slight more advantage currently. Almost picks mm -hmm. off a Ravenger there. That would have been a very nice pick off for Yo, Diggy. Those Ravengers are pretty expensive once they're morphed. So. 125, 100, I believe, is the final cost, right? I think so. No, it, so it would be 100, 100. Yeah. 100? Yeah. 100, 100. So the same cost as a Muta. Wow. And more That's expensive than a Hydra. Kind of crazy to think about now. Yeah. And the Ling Flood is being produced by yo diggy you know when when you see a zerg player make about 28 links all at once that means okay i have the roaches that i want now i need some meat behind the roaches right mm -hmm. so whenever you see that go up on the production bar that's when you know that the zerg player is about to attack and go all in because these links are going to catch up to these roaches a lot faster and it's going to create a faster engagement as you're about to see right now Oh no, oh, dodging the Corrosive Bottles, that's good. But the links are hopping on top of that Roach army, and already you're seeing the damage really get pumped out from Yo Diggy. And now you can see those links that I was just talking about now reinforcing, and this third base is going to go down once again for TGMLG. However, TGMLG has a Roach advantage on his side of the map, but not on the aggressor side. Well, it takes a low HP Roach. Turns into Ravager, that's good. Now, 800 minerals being banked here. I'd like to see that pumped out into drones or other base, injected, you know. We see lots of these players, as soon as they start attacking, their macro really dips. It's, it's. I mean, if you're, if I'm your diggy, you know, I just put all my hatcheries on a hotkey, pull it up, spam some drones, keep attacking, you know? Yeah, definitely. And, you know, these bases are gonna collide, I think. You know, at this point, Yo Diggy, he could just chill out and max out, you know. Macroing up is pretty good. He's a, Yo Diggy's about to find out that he's behind on upgrades. You know, TGMLG is going to have plus one attack versus nothing. And it would be nice for him to just kind of go back, do a couple more things here and there. But overall, he definitely has the lead right now in this game. Wow. A lot better fight taken by our red player here. The concave is just so sweet. The Bile almost hits those banelings. But already we see... Huge we hits. Oh, the concave is just so much better for red. He keeps moving all of his roaches whenever there's a Bile. It's not yeah. quite really efficient, but again, he's still winning out these fights. And also remember, Yo Diggy, look at that. Right back to 103 supply. Army supply now at 70 to 38. He needed to fight with those spines. Fighting on that concave. Yeah, he got amazing Bane hits. But, you know, those links aren't the meat of the army anymore. He's at the point where roaches matter a lot in this game. Attempts to retake his third base. But it's not going to really work. You know. They... Yo, Diggy, you can see the red moving across the map now. He has the army supplies. He has the larva. He has everything he needs to win this game right now. Oh, no. Those Biles hit all the Ravagers as they're morphing, but it's not quite enough damage. Everything's so low on the side of purple that these ra roaches are going to be able to A move in and just wipe everything off the map here. Yeah, definitely. Even killing off those queens. Now there's nothing left but two spines on the top side of the map. He goes back. Now he's going to kill off this third base yet oh, again. Those overlords are so low. They're all 20 HP. One more one Biles, all it would take. There it is. Oh, and three go down. Luckily, TGMLG made a couple extra <laughs> in his coffers. 
but we're already looking at Yo Diggy running away with this game at now almost double the supply currently. Um, DG MLG still being really aggressive with these roaches, kind of pushing out here, getting trying Tommy. to get a lot done, doing anything he can do to climb his way back into this game. It's funny, he's he had all the stuff right across the map, so all the overlords he made are, are mid-map right now. <laughs> a, few, a few good bile hits, and we could see a supply cap on the side of red. Yeah, definitely. You know, we've in all of our games that we've casted, I think we've casted about four or five games now with TGMLG, and he's thrown away a lot of overlords. Definitely the most I've seen in quite some time. Mm -hmm. Surprise Red doesn't just take this fight, you know? This is definitely the fight he wants to take. He could just, he could walk up that ramp right now and he could win it. Now there is a plus one carapace upgrade for you and Diggy versus the plus one damage of TG, but... Man... He's, he just keeps shutting down that base. He has Overlord spread across the map to check for other bases of, of purple. So he knows there's no hidden bases. He's up and he knows he's ahead. And gets the full cancel there. Was that, that was a full cancel, right? It was a full yes, deny? Yes, it was. Alright, so that's 300 minerals gone, plus a drone. And that's it. Yep. TGMLG 